Dive in as we unravel the intriguing 25-year journey of the Euro, a unique currency union among independent states. This isn't just any old currency, it's a testament to resilience, standing firm over a quarter of a century, weathering storms and evolving with the changing tides of the global economy. From its inception, the Euro has faced an array of challenges, sparking heated debates and necessitating economic and institutional developments. It was born incomplete with the fiscal and economic aspects underdeveloped compared to the monetary aspect. But through it all, the Euro has held its own, proving its mettle time and again. As we delve deeper, we'll unfold the Euro's journey, divided into four distinct phases. The Euro's history kicks off with the 2% decade, a time of growth and optimism. This era, marked by a steady economic expansion, saw the Euro flexing its muscles on the global stage. The economy was blooming, businesses were thriving, and the Euro was establishing itself as a stable and promising currency. However, this period was not without its flaws. Beneath the surface of prosperity, there were imbalances and structural divergences brewing. Some regions were outpacing others in terms of growth, leading to internal disparities within the Eurozone. Moreover, the financial structures were not as robust as they appeared. These underlying issues, hidden in the shadow of economic growth, were brought to light during the Great Financial Crisis. The 2% decade was a time of optimism, but it also sowed the seeds of challenges that were yet to unfold. This decade of optimism, however, was about to face a drastic shift. Following the 2% decade, the Euro faced a tumultuous period, marked by crises and fragmentation. The Great Financial Crisis was a seismic event that sent shockwaves through the foundations of the Euro area. This crisis laid bare the vulnerabilities of the Euro area, revealing imbalances and structural divergences that had been largely concealed during the previous decade of growth and optimism. The response to the crisis was far from immediate. It was a game of catch-up, with policymakers scrambling to implement measures to stabilize the euro area. The response was a patchwork of solutions, each aimed at addressing a specific aspect of the crisis. The result was an assortment of policies and measures, some more successful than others, but all critical in forging the path to stability. The delayed response and the ensuing measures, however, were not without their costs. The crisis led to a period of fragmentation within the Euro area, with countries pursuing their own interests and agendas. This fragmentation added to the complexity of the crisis, as countries struggled to reconcile their individual needs with the collective interest of the Euro area. As the Euro weathered the storm of crises, a global pandemic loomed, necessitating yet another shift in approach. The pandemic crisis presented unprecedented challenges, requiring ambitious policy measures and a narrative of solidarity. In the face of the global health crisis, the Euro area demonstrated resilience and adaptability, crafting a response that was both immediate and robust. As the pandemic cast a dark shadow over the world, the Euro area stood tall, implementing ambitious policy measures to cushion the blow. These measures were not just about economic recovery, but also about fostering a sense of unity, a narrative of solidarity that echoed throughout the Euro area. Countries came together, pooling resources, sharing knowledge and supporting each other in a time of universal crisis. This response was a testament to the strength and resilience of the Euro area, a demonstration of how far it had come since the days of the great financial crisis. But as the pandemic began to recede and the world started to emerge from its shadow, a new challenge arose, the surge in inflation. Inflation, the silent thief that erodes the value of money, reared its head once more. This was an old foe, one that the Euro area had battled before, but this time it was different. The return of inflation presented new policy trade-offs. On one hand, there was a need to keep the economy stable and prevent it from overheating. On the other hand, there was a need to ensure that the recovery from the pandemic was not derailed. These policy trade-offs were not easy to navigate. They required careful balancing, a delicate dance of economic management, but they also opened up new opportunities for learning, for growth, for further strengthening the Euro area's economic and institutional frameworks. The Euro area's journey through the pandemic and its response to the subsequent inflation surge is a story of resilience, of unity, of adaptability. 
It's a story that speaks to the strength of the Euro, to its ability to weather storms and navigate through turbulent times. While the Euro has navigated through crises and pandemics, its journey is far from over. Having braved multiple storms, what does the future hold for the Euro? As we've seen, the Euro has weathered the 2% decade of growth and optimism, the decade of crises and fragmentation, the response to the pandemic, and now grapples with the return of policy trade-offs in battling inflation. The Euro's resilience is undeniable, having survived these trials, but its architecture, as we've discussed, remains incomplete, with fiscal and economic aspects underdeveloped compared to its monetary aspect. This is a challenge that the currency union will need to address in the future to ensure stability and success. The recent surge in inflation poses a new test for the Euro. It's a complex issue, demanding a delicate balance of policy decisions. The Euro's response to this challenge will be crucial in shaping its future. Despite these hurdles, the Euro has always found a way to adapt and overcome. It's testament to the strength of the Union and the commitment of its members. As we look to the future, there's no doubt that the Euro will continue to evolve and adapt to new challenges. The Euro's journey is a testament to its resilience. As we look ahead, only time will tell how it adapts to new challenges. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world of economics.